The International Labour Organization was born in 1919, from the ashes of World War I, in the belief that universal and lasting peace can be accomplished only if it is based on social justice. In 2017, its mandate was reinvigorated by the adoption of recommendation number 205, the world's only international normative framework for promoting peace and resilience in crisis through employment and decent work. But how can the world of work contribute to peace? By creating decent and gender responsive economic opportunities to increase the costs of violence by bringing people together to break down horizontal divides between communities and genders, and by promoting social dialogue and labour rights to resolve grievances. First, inclusive employment and the income associated with it increases the opportunity cost of engaging in violence. When populations of working age have access to livelihoods and decent employment with adequate social protection, they may be less prone to violence. Second, if conflict is driven by negative perceptions and distrust among groups, decent employment programmes can promote social cohesion by increasing constructive contact between groups, joint enterprises and cooperatives with members from different communities, by creating opportunities for dialogue, including among the government, the workers and employers' organisations. These programmes can break down stereotypes and build mutual understanding and trust. Third, conflicts often relate to grievances arising from inequalities, non-respect of human and labour rights, exclusion and perception of injustice. Sometimes it's not lack of work, but the experience of exploitative, precarious, informal work where fundamental rights are disregarded that spurs grievances. Inclusive and decent employment programmes that promote participation through social dialogue can reduce the risk of conflict by addressing grievances and making sure all voices are heard. When we tap into the transformative power of decent work to address the causes that drive conflict, we can build more peaceful and more inclusive societies. Decent work empowers people, brings them together and gives them income, hope, and dignity. This is the path from fragility to resilience, from conflict to sustaining peace.